So this goes by inertial balance effect. With a few easy steps you can add this effect into your project. Let's see how that is done in today's After Effects tutorial. Here we are in After Effects. Create a new composition and then use the settings, click OK, select text tool and then type in your text. And then I'm going to center this with a line panel here, over here. And then we can press S, we need to give this an animation and we will start with scale. So we press S and then with page down we move by 5 frames and then set another keyframe on scale, go back to the beginning and then change this first one to zero. So it scales up and we are going to give this a motion blur. And now I have this code here and you can find this on Google as well by typing After Effects Inertial Bounce Expression and if you're lazy to type it on Google or I don't know, I'll put the link for it in description for you to see. So I'll switch back to after Effects, so I'll just copy it, Ctrl C, and then switch to After Effects, and then Alt click on Stopwatch icon, and then Ctrl V to paste it here. So if we drag this, here we have this code, and there we get this effect. So I'll set an endpoint at 2 seconds, press N, so it starts again. And we, we can use this for other effects as well. So I'll, I can just alt click on this to remove the expression and then click on the stopwatch icon to remove it all. And then press R for rotation and go to the beginning, press, click on the stopwatch icon at the beginning and then move by five frames, set another keyframe, go back. And then, I mean, we don't need to go back. We can, we need to animate the endpoint actually. So I'll set, I'll change this to one so it makes a full rotation like that. And we can just alt click on stopwatch icon and then paste this same expression here. So there we have it for rotation as well. And now we are going to delete these ones as well, so alt click on it and then click on it without alt and then we are going to animate the position now. So go to the beginning, press P, set a keyframe on position, move by 5 frames with page down, set another one and go to the beginning now and change the Y position like so. So it lands down like that. And now we can alt click on this stopwatch icon ctrl v to paste the same expression and we have this for position as well and the good thing about this is that we use this not only for text but also for shapes so i'll just delete this one and then create a shape we select the shape tool ellipse tool and then while holding ctrl and shift i create a shape and then align it into the center with align panel and then press P for position, go to the beginning, set a keyframe on it, and then move by five frames, set another one, and then we change this one for the beginning, we change the first keyframe, Y position, like that, and then Alt click on stopwatch icon, Ctrl V to paste the same effect, and there we go, we have it for shapes as well. That will be it for this tutorial. You can save this code somewhere in your folders so that whenever you need a bounce effect you could just add it on your text or shapes within few seconds. If you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the upcoming tutorials.